If you're having problems trying to connect your wireless Go microphone to your laptop, stay tuned because I'm going to be going through not one, not two, not three. Yes, you've guessed it. I'm going to be going through four different options that you can use to try and connect your microphone to your laptop. So before we get started, I just want to clarify one thing. Your Rode Wireless Go microphone will actually come with one of these cables. And on first appearance, it might look as if you can actually plug this straight into your headphone jack of your laptop. However, if I just show you what happened. So as you can see, it is picking up the signal from the receiver. However, if we go onto my laptop and you go into the input devices, you can see when you try and click on the drop down. Uh, it doesn't actually recognize the fact that this uh, microphone has been connected. If it did, you'd actually see a drop down, you'd actually see another selected microphone which wrote mic. So e even though you can see um, the audio here, it's not actually coming from this particular microphone. replace this cable with what is known as, as one of these which is the SC7 cables. It does look quite similar but uh, there is a big difference which is the fact this goes from a TRS to a TRRS. So all you're looking for is with a black head and a grey head. So why don't we go ahead and try and replace this. So I'll open this up and I'll put a link in the video description below as to where you can buy this. You can just get it from Amazon. It's, uh, I think this particular one was probably around 10 pounds. So as you can see, this cable looks very similar to the other one. So what we're gonna do is we're effectively going to uh, replace this with the one that we've got connected at the moment. And we're gonna take the black head and we're gonna put it into the transmitter and we're gonna take the gray head and we're gonna put it into the laptop. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So we'll put the black head in the receiver and we'll put the other grey head into the headphone jack of your laptop. So if we try and go to the laptop now, as you can see the transmitter is transmitting, um, however we still can't see another input microphone on the laptop. Therefore, um, even though this particular method might work for some people, it does seem to be working on the Dell laptop. This is the XP S15 laptop. But I'm showing you this because it does actually work for some people. So this is option number one. To supplement this particular cable, um, with one of these adapters, this is effectively turning your headphone mic jack into a USB input device. This is another adapter and what we'll do now is we'll use this with the combination of the SR7 cable that we used in the first option and we'll see how we get on with that. Again this is very easily available through Amazon uh, thing. This again was less than £10. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we plug this one in. So we'll take the grey cable, take it out of the laptop and we'll put it into the connector Obviously we can't plug this one into the headphone jack so we have to put it into USB receiver of the laptop. This laptop actually doesn't have any USB ports so I'm going to put it through this USB-C hub that I've got connected here. So we'll put it in and we'll see how, how we get on. So I've plugged it in now and what you can see straight away is on my laptop uh, is actually recognize the device and you can also see what's changed is the input device has changed to a microphone which is a USB audio device and if I click on the drop down you can actually see the original microphone that's built into my laptop which is still this one uh, this was the one that we could see in, uh, in the first option but we can actually see the second microphone and the good thing is you can also see that the test your microphone uh, bar is moving in line with um, what you can see on the transmitter as well. So therefore, effectively, this, this solution has worked on the Dell laptop for me. So that means that I can go ahead and record the audio um, using the Go Wireless microphone through my laptop, which is great news. Now, I'll stress again that this solution is again going to work for some users, it's not going to work for all users. So why don't we go ahead and get into option number three. So for option number three, um, instead of using the USB connector cable, I'm going to take this one out. 
For option number three, we're going to try and use uh, one of these which takes, which goes into your headphone jack of your laptop. But what it does is it actually splits the output between your headphone and your microphone. So let's go ahead and try and connect this onto our setup and see how we go. Again, this you can get from Amazon for less than 10 pounds uh, and I'll put the link in the description below so you've got a copy. So let's go ahead and connect this into the laptop. So we've plugged that in, so we'll put it into the microphone end and we'll see how we go on. So if we look at the uh, laptop again, as you can see, uh, pop-ups come up, it's asking me what type of device uh, have I just connected in. So we'll click in the fact that this is going to be a mic, therefore, so I'll click on the mic and I'll click that, click OK, and what you can see now is it's recognized as another microphone and it's giving me the option however unlike option number two where we could see the test your microphone bar moving along with the Rode Wireless Go transmitter in this particular case this this combination hasn't actually worked on my laptop again it's not working on my laptop but there will be users out there that this combination is going to work for them so you'll need a splitter cable um, but you'll, uh, and then you'll have to combine it with that SC7 cable and hopefully that should work for you. For option number four, what Rode recommend is that you use a combination of an AI1 studio quality audio interface alongside a VXLR plus adapter and apparently if you use a combination of these along with that SC7 cable then it doesn't matter what laptop you have, this solution should actually work. So let's go ahead and see if this works. I should add that this is the most expensive option out of the four that I've shown you today. This AI1 costs about £120 on Amazon and this is another 10 pounds on top so all together you're looking at 100 130 pounds uh, just to be able to connect your Rode wireless go microphone to your laptop i really hope one of the other options that i've shown in the video work for you if not and you're really desperate to try and make sure that you can still use your Rode wireless go microphone with your laptop then hopefully this should be the ultimate solution so let's go ahead and see if this works for me. So this is what the AI receiver, AI1 receiver looks like. As you can see, it's got a couple of knobs in there that you can turn on. That's where the VXLR input goes. So we'll try and connect it and it does have a USB connection. So we'll have to connect this to the laptop as well in order for it to be powered up. So why don't we go ahead and connect it to the laptop first. So we'll connect this to the laptop. Again, put it into the USB port. Connect that in. As you can see on my laptop, it's been recognized as a line road AI1 input. So um, because I've still got the split cable connected, now it's giving me the option of three microphones. However, we know that on this particular laptop, the split cable option didn't work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our transmitter with the SC7 cable and try and connect it directly into uh, the AI1 um, using a VXLR1 adapter. So let's disconnect this. And now, as you can see, there's there's no direct way of actually connecting the SC7 cable uh, from your transmitter into this AI1 box. Therefore, the only way you can do that is by um, is by using one of these adapters, which is the VXLR1 adapter. So let's uh, take this out of the box and. We'll try and connect this first to our AI box. As you can see, it's got these three pins, which go straight in there. So we'll connect this, connect it in. As you can see, it's recognized that by uh, the green light turning on as well. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll take the gray end of the SC7 cable and put it straight in there and we'll see what happens. So that is now connected and as you can see even if I turn this on and off it still keeps on giving me the red light and so you can also see on my laptop the test your microphone there is no audio being picked up through the Rode wireless microphone. A bit disappointed with this to be honest uh, this was the most expensive option and Rode say that this particular combination will work will connect your Rode wireless to a microphone 
to any laptop. However, as you can see in this particular case with the Dell XPS 15 laptop connected this uh, to the transmitter is still not picking up my audio. But having said that, it might still work for some people. So there you have it. Hopefully one of these options worked for you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.